Hello and welcome. We will be drawing a um, 3D modeling a shim and creating a drawing for that. So th this is the it's a sort of beginning tutorial. Uh, we use we're going to use angles to define it, uh, but the easiest the easiest approach for this one. So sometimes I, I like to create a block and then and then cut away from it, kind of like how you would um, mill something, right? You start with a block and then you mill it down, or start with a start with a, uh, a cylinder and and mill that down. So with this one, we're going to start with a block and. It will be on the front. We'll, we'll put this on the front plane. Again, this is like the front view as I'm looking at this pictorial representation. Get normal to that. And then rectangle, center rectangle is R. Click on the center here. Extrude it out to a rectangle. My overall dimensions are two and a half by four. And these are inches. Two and a half by four. Extrude this out. And it is 1.5 inches thick. So we have our extruded rectangle and now I am just going to apply some cuts to to this area so I'm going to create another sketch and the sketch will be on the actual object the extruded object I'm going to use all of the all of the sides on my sketch so what I'm going to do is convert entities or use click on the area and notice the four sides of the rectangle the extruded block come out and I can use those now I just need to make these angles so I'm going to use my line tool I'm just going to click anywhere here and anywhere there anywhere there anywhere there anywhere there and anywhere there there's only um, three sort of edges to this block I'm then going to dimension <clears throat> the distance so this is three quarters or 0.75 this is 1.75 right here and then down here I have a one inch measurement from here to here and notice they are all still blue because I need another dimension on them so I'm gonna put the angle dimensions and what we're gonna do is um, since they they kind of used a construction line to make their angle measures, we're just going to have to add in that extra 90 degrees. So 145, it's going to be 135. And to get an angle, you have to click on two lines. So I'm going to click on this line. I'm going to click on this line. And my angle measure comes out. I'm going to type in 135. And that's what I want for this angle. Again, over here. This needs to be 30 plus 90 is 120. And then this one actually gives you the whole angle, which is 120. So now it is fully defined. All my, all my lines are black. I'm going to extrude 
and I'm not going to use the faces of sketch two, so escape out of there. I'm going to remove, and then I'm going to choose these triangles to remove. And I'm just going to put on through all, so it removes those angles, those triangles, and I have my block. If there is a material you need to assign to it, you're going to right click down here assign material. We can assign some material for this one. We'll make it a generic aluminum block. So aluminum, aluminum 1060. Check it off. So there's our block of aluminum. Again, uh, do not Put in aluminum unless um, I'm asking you, in, unless the exercise asks you to. I'm just doing it for demonstration purposes. If I want to look at the mass, how dense this is, how many pounds this is, I could just click it and display mass properties. And in here I know it is 1.25 pounds. So from here, I am going to create a drawing. And my drawing, so it's two and a half. So we can use an A size for this and make sure that it is in inches. And landscape is a good one for this one. Just OK it. And it looks like we're only going to need two views for this. And we could actually probably do it full. Give us a nice large area. So I'm going to do the front and the top. And I am going to I like to sort of dimension the, the top one with overall sort of dimensions. And then with the front, I can get into the nitty gritty. And um, you can change if the precision isn't um, so high, right? You can you can actually change that. This is th these are autom automated. Um, I'm assuming that this block wouldn't need to be to the thousandth, um, but you never know what the application is for, but you can change it in there. Especially since they're giving everything in, in fractionals, um, not to thousandths. So we're going to dimension the side here. And um, so we have the overall length, we have the, the, the thickness. Um, I, now we need the overall height. And I'm just going to kind of copy what they did here. So, and since we have two views, we don't have to have all of these um, dimensions on one view. So it'll clean it up a little bit. But I do want this dimension here. And I do want this dimension here. And I do want this dimension here. And then I want the angles. So this angle here. And this angle here get them close and this angle here if you wanted to add a construction line you could um, to make it easier on whomever is looking at this so um, I will show you how to do that. 
uh, just to just to make it easier on because that's that's kind of the drafter's responsibility to make it clearest, concisest, um, but containing all the information and uh, the easiest for for whoever's looking at this drawing and trying to create the part. So I'm gonna get rid of these and add a construction line if I can or maybe uh, hmm. So it looks like, and unless I want, if I want to put those in, I'm going to have to draw on in the part studio and then bring that in. I'm not seeing an easy way to, um, these are center lines. So, I mean, potentially. No, that's not going to work. Um, let's see if we have any other abilities here. Angle, is there an angle, dimension, angular. Okay, so here, uh, that's just going to give us our angle there. Um, which you can automatically do with the dimension tool. It picks up on what you're trying to do. So what we're trying to do is, is draw a line in here that's... Um, no, doesn't look like it's going to allow us. So that's all right. We'll just go back to how we had it. And that's... 135 there and 120 over here so um, it would have been nice to have the take away that 90 and, and have the 45 but um, typically people are skilled enough or if they're following this they'll understand that anyway um, basic geometry sort of stuff so that's pretty much it for for this uh, exercise and um, just make sure that you include the title and the drawing number the title should include your company or your school that you're working for and the name of the part so ours would be bristol plymouth regional technical school and you can put in shim project or shim part and then the drawing number will be, will be something to do with um, an organization so uh, so organization numbers so it will either it'll have you'll have your own if you have your own system that's great and um, plug that in it's just like a sort of a code that you can use and then a lot of times people save it under that code so um, I've seen students do quarter three project one, so Q3, P1, and then it just creates like a database that um, you can easily go and find things and not have to read through the title. So um, I'll leave that up to you to create your own filing. And um, then the material down here, if there is a material, click into that and um, for us since we since I put in aluminum it would be aluminum 1060 down there and that's it so good luck